Hey, <laughs> what it do, baby? Hello, guys. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing. Everyone that went to the Vegeta Saiyan Army group on Facebook, thank you. And welcome back to another episode of Vegeta Saiyan Army. Um, okay, so today I'm going to talk about a deck I, like, accidentally made. Because when I build Vegeta, I, I still think the mono green version is the best version. But I was just talking about a recent video where I talked about Obuni, right? And as I'm talking about Obuni... I said, hey, if they're going to ban Obuni, they're going to have to ban Cooler too, right? Because what's stopping me from playing, like, Green Vegeta, playing Android 16 to ramp on turn 2, and then having Cooler turn 3? Like, and then I was like, as I said, that I was like, because it's kind of a good idea. So, okay. So, the, um, what was I going to say? The green-blue version is one that I have right here. I tested it, and... Let me fix this up here. Okay, so everyone knows Vegeta Babidi. The way he works is he has Overlord once per turn. When he swings, activate battle. You take a card from life, you draw, he gets 5k and double strike. When your life is at 5 or less, you can untap 2, which is really good. The untap 2 is great. Because when you play the cooler or you play your turn 4, going until an untap 2 is awesome because he can play you can top you can tap one for the vegeta servant you can tap one for the double striker one drops like it's really good um on the back side something it always gets to me that's why i like to test a lot so i can master a deck but something it's still i forget about is that the take life draw is an activate main not battle right so you have to do that activate main before you swing to give it 5k and double strike um, he still has Overlord once per turn, um, but it is a different card on the Awakened side. So if you Overlord it on the front, you can Awaken and do it again if you can. And then Activate Main for one green, you can uh, grab the bottom deck to Vegeta Servant that's three or less in green and play it, right? Okay, so let's go into the deck. Let's zoom out. Your... Okay, so I've been testing this deck and I've tweaked it. I've changed it. Go to the link below. Uh, click on the Shenron's Lair link, right, that I have for this deck, and then you're gonna see the copy button. Copy it to your Shenron's Lair. If you love this deck, keep it the way it is, and then hit untap and go test it yourself. If you wanna tweak a few things that you disagree with, cool, tweak it however you'd like. It doesn't matter, but that's how you do it. This is the deck. So basically the turn one play, right? I am running, I believe I'm running 10 multicolor. Yep. Yep. 10. So I am looking at the Android 16 energy application. If you have a blue green multicolor card in energy, when you play this card from your hand, place a top card of your deck in your energy in rest mode right so that's the turn two play to ramp you to three and then on turn three you'll have four energy right and where's yeah where's cooler there we go and then you play meta cooler right so one thing that i asked everybody on the group and i asked like a million people and everyone says it works android 16 when he ramps you cannot play battle cards that are 30,000 to 35,000 for the rest of the game. So I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to play my Servant. But my Servant card is 20,000. So it's no big deal. The reason I was worried about it is because obviously Servant gives it 10,000. So it's really a 30k. But apparently the effect triggers before Android 16 uh, is permanent. So it's all good. It doesn't proc. We can play the Servant. If there's a judge here that says, like, I cannot, let me know, please. But either way, and, and if I can't, I just won't play this guy. I'll play the two-drop servant. Who cares? Because the deck, the point of the deck is to turn one, play, uh, charge a uh, blue-green, um, and then turn two, ramp, and then turn three, play the cooler. Because like I said, I mean, Obuni's great, right? But I think cooler's better. Cooler's better in the attacking because he attacks way more than Abuni does. So the way that you use Cooler is you tap four, you play Cooler, the unison. You activate main, you play one token. You swing with the one token, you swing with the Cooler. That's two attacks. Then you minus four to bring out three tokens, right? So he actually plays four tokens. So he actually does four attack, not three, the way Abuni does. Obviously, Abuni can untap one and he has deflect, but... Like, this is a unison. Unisons have deflect and barrier in a way, right? So, I feel like the stronger play... Like, if you guys love 
if Samasu can be so good at what he does and Vegek and Vegito, the blue leaders with a boonie, I, I feel like maybe why not green? Why not use... And Vegeta, by the way, it's not like you're losing out on a blue leader because green is actually kind of better in some ways. Um, and now you can use a leader that has like 15k double strike on the front and like 20k double strike on the back. And it untaps too. And it does it at 5 life. And by the way, we're doing... Like, we don't have room for the boo chain. If you guys think that you have room for the boo chain, copy the deck switch it around and show it to me maybe maybe you can do it but remember the android 17 or 16 doesn't let us um actually that's not true the boo chain ends up being 25k if you guys have room for it let me know but i didn't i want to keep it at 50 i want to keep it clean so again turn one you have the android 16 and then you have the multicolor mana that comes in untapped in your energy if there's already a blue green there. Uh, just to have more blue green for that turn one charge, I added Android 16, a new start. Also, on that kill turn, when you tap the four, you can always like just get rid of your energy and play them for free. I like free attackers, especially in that last turn. I took a page out of uh, the Reboot Gohan book for blue green, really cool. Um, also, some more free attacker, surprise attack Frieza, um, Awaken Warrior Bardock, they come in for free. Uh, surprise attack Frieza is a 15k critical, they get to play for free if one of your opponent's cards are KO'd. Awaken Warrior Bardock is basically Overrealm for free, for 4, and he's 20k double strike. And we're playing him at 2 each, you can mess with those numbers, obviously. And then when you ha once you have a lot of battle cards on board, you can go right into Belmod. He uh, KOs three battle cards, you play him for free, and you KO uh, one of your opponent's battle cards, which would proc surprise attack Frieza, and hey, that's another free swing, right? Um, okay, so those are the free cards. Let's see, the super combo is the great Saiyaman, my new favorite super combo in the game. Again, he's got the Durag, he's got the Ray-Bans, I'm going to call him White Nelly. Uh, when you play him, you bottom deck a card, and then you draw two, right? So that's cool, because you want to uh, obviously bottom deck the the prince of destruction vegeta life and death by the way this prince of destruction card is nuts because when you bring it out for one energy it's a 30k double strike that you want to swing with him first that way for the rest of the turn if they use a counter skill he untaps you know and he's still 30k um double strike so okay obviously sensu beans here because sensu bean just extends your plays like when you tap four for cooler and you awaken you have two up um, if you want to use that energy to play one Dodoria, Cold Blood, and then one Vegeta, Savior of the Future, which I'm running at four each, they're the Saiyan Kabas of green and blue. Basically, for one energy, you get 15k double strike if you take a left when he attacks. And you can swing with one of them, send to Bean, make it 20, and then untap another energy. Maybe play a Dodoria and still have the green energy to bring in your three drop um battle card uh defensively you actually do see a defensive turn here because people are being smart about how to play against uh meta cooler and the boonies so on on the like clap back if you do fail to kill them i mean you can gauge how much you want to extend in a turn without overextending for example if you play meta cooler and you swing and you see that they're defending and that you don't have enough ammo to kill them this turn leave the two energy up you know i do have cells kamehameha here at two and i have three of dormant potential unleashed just for defense um and this is basically in the case of maybe them not being able to die that turn turn three we're gonna have four energy but it's really a turn three um we have frieza imperial inspiration i got my copies already i'm happy i have a place it but i'm playing it at two because it is red and it goes against the color scheme of this deck and also i'm not gonna say it's sacky but like your ideal turn one is gonna be tapped because of multicolor your ideal turn two is gonna be playing the 16 and turn three you're playing cooler so you're not really using frieza until you play cooler and then awaken and you have two energy up maybe you want to swing with leader and then if they don't negate then frieza and then sensu bean so i'm running it at two even though it's kind of snapped and it's a good alternative turn one through two if you're not finding your pieces um let's see let's see let's see okay finally i'm going to talk about this dude this four drop here initially in initially initially <laughs> when i built this deck i saw it as a turn two kill and it is because remember 
I mean, if you're going if you're going first with this deck and you're playing the mono green version, which plays the blue chain, you can win turn two easily, right? So with two energy, you play a Dodoria, you play another Dodoria, which I do. Like I'll play, swing with both of them for double strike, take two life, swing with leader, take a life, and then I'm at five life. And I've taken so much life that my um that my field card is ready for the boot chain. So I start the boot chain and I only need one energy to do all that, right? And then I usually literally play under the Doria or I play one energy to bring out the servant. And once I have all that and I have three attackers with a surprise attack Frieza and Awakened Warrior Bardock, then I Belmod and I KO my own seven drop to go into the uh the Broly secret rare. And honestly, that turn two kill is crazy. And that might be the deck I'm going into. If you want to see the deck list, it is down below, just as well as this one. So when I saw that there was a four drop, right? I saw it and I thought, I feel like this is for green Goku. I don't think this is going to be for the green Vegeta leader. But if you are ramping, then this becomes a turn three. And in that case, I like it way more. So this, what you're looking at here, guys, this is a turn three kill to turn four. The mono green is a turn two to turn three. Each has like the green one has more aggression. Um, this one is a little more powerful on that turn three to four. I'm not sure. Maybe that's not true, but they're both really good. I've played it a lot. Um, I haven't lost with it yet with this version. Um, so I will be showing you guys gameplay, but this is the deck profile. This four drop is nuts. He's deflect and triple strike and he's servant. So he's really a 30 K even though he says he's 20. Um, and if your leader is mono green, when you play this card with deflect, so it's hitting the board, you, uh, grab up to one of your opponent's unison cards. What does that mean? Bandai kind of sketch. Does that mean that in the future, some leaders can play multiple unisons? I wonder. Um, so you choose up to one. Oh, up to one, because you don't have to choose one. Okay, up to one of your opponent's unisons, I remove three markers from it. So this dude takes out three markers, so it's like basically spot removal for unisons. Deflect, triple strike, 30k. Like, this dude is pretty bonkers, I like him. Um, so again, guys, what do you think about this deck? What would you run differently? Do you like the way it's ran? Do you, do you li I, I tweaked it again because I want to keep a high combo count as much as I possibly can, given the curve of this deck not every deck is the same with the the curve in fact isn't it here don't they have or is it dbs decks they have the whole no just the price it don't matter but yeah what do you guys think what would you run differently what do you like about the deck what don't you like about the deck or the leader let me know what your testing has been like has have any of you played this leader yet if so let me know give me the feedback on it do you guys like the android 16 i i, I have that here just so i have enough multicolor turn one and I've gotten to that turn four where I'm just playing free guys. I'm playing Awakening Warrior Bardock, Android 16, Suppressed Tech Frieza, then go into Belmont. I mean, it's it, like it goes. It plays a lot of people. Um, this deck is powerful. It's really good. What do you guys think about it? Thank you guys for watching, subscribing. Thank you. Go down below. Go to the Facebook page for Vegeta Saiyan Army. If you even like Vegeta even a little bit, you should go there because Vegeta's the greatest character in Dragon Ball. And I'll see you guys next time.